Today we are taking a trip into the Amazonian forest to visit the Langford Ruins, a magical masterpiece that you're not gonna wanna miss out on, so stay tuned! And let's check it out. Hey yo, my planet co-star friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at the Langford Ruins created by Joshio, and here they say. This is Langford Ruins, carved deep into the Amazonian forest. Sir Langford has opened this small theme park. Arrive by water or air to this magical masterpiece and experience a range of rides and attractions. Stay overnight in the hotel to see more of what this park has to offer. All right, pretty short introduction. Hopefully enough of my B-roll has showed off here. Um, one of the uh, biggest changes in, I guess, Park Spotlight production has been the B-roll that you guys are seeing here, the cinematic shots uh, with a mixture of reshade as well as an extension to showing off some of the rides and attractions. A lot of work has gone into doing these cinematics and it's definitely increased production time. So I hope everybody's been enjoying it so far. Anyways, let's uh, go enjoy the theme park. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hope you're all doing fantastic today. We are going on uh, the first kind of Aztec jungle adventure park so far in the contest with the Langford Ruins. A nice little uh, rainbow effect there on the letters. I like that. TMTK shoutouts, here you go. Uh, speaking of which, there was an error with your TMTK and then it said not all of them could be loaded and then it crashed. And then I tried it again and it worked. I'm not sure what's going on there. I lucked out, I guess. Look at that. So all these uh, ruins are made out of TMTK. These are all custom assets. Really nice. I want to head over to this. Aztec shot. Ah. Joshio. I was wondering what that was saying. Nice job there. I want to head over to this Aztec Ruins, uh, what do you call it? Aztec Shot. Because it's the only thing I couldn't get B-roll for. Because it's indoor, which makes things a little bit more complicated. So, I want to see w what's going on in here. Let's check it out. I'm assuming it's a shooting ride. I hear pew pew pews and it says Aztec Shot, so... I think this is the first one of the contest. I do not remember shooting anything yet. Here we go. So, um, let me... How do I do this? Start the shooting ride. The, the ride will begin in approximately two seconds. All right. Three, two, one. Pew, pew, pew time. Oh my god, burning everything! Why does this temple have pipes? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh crap, dead. Alright. We're getting through it. Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. I can't do it. Oh, boy.
Uh, it's so hard to shoot anything when the camera's turning. Just spam at it. Ah! Uh. Uh. You lose points for spamming it? Then you just break your score. Your multiplier. There are triggers in there? Oh, they fall down, I see. Oh. Jeez, too many targets. Seven, 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 one. Let's go. I wish it would um, update that score to the Steam Workshop. That would have been like a really nice feature. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the shooting ride itself. Like the environment was nice, but it's hard to appreciate it when you're sitting there trying to shoot stuff. And when they're just like targets like that, they don't feel nearly as interesting unless something like bedazzling happens. I really don't know how to feel about the shooting rides as a, as a whole. Like, they were really interesting at first, and then we've seen some, like, people do, uh, like, Class Mamelia did paint the town, and, like, you could actually shoot things and paint things. And then, like, you start seeing innovation like that, and that's kind of where I'm at with these things, where it's like, I kind of want to see innovation with rides. I don't want to just shoot targets for whatever reason and see lava pour out and, you know, things fall over. It... I don't, I don't know where I stand with it. I think I need to, I need to see like a new evolution of the shooting ride take place. Where someone does something really creative, kind of like what Class Mamelia would did paint the town, but I can't expect everybody to do that. I think the best way to do it is to find the objects that can be uh, triggered. So like, I don't know, um, certain objects in the game, you can set them as a trigger. So you shoot them and something happens, right? So rather than actually shooting targets, you're shooting gems. Or you hide the targets inside the gems and then they light up with color and you shoot them and, and then they change color, shatter or go invisible um, because you could you could set the colors. So that's what I'm looking for is something where you, you take a creative spin on things. That's my, my personal take on the shooting ride so far. I'd like to see something fresh and new. And if you do the target thing, just um, find interesting ways to do it where I'm not just spamming all the targets and trying to get the high score, you know? But um, almost like watching a movie and pushing buttons. Whoa, what the heck? Right, yeah. And you're using these buttons to kind of uh, move the story along. The gem thing. Wait a second, I don't think I saw this coaster in the cinematics. I was looking at this one mostly. Okay, cool. So what do we have here? There's a look at all the ride stats. It's green across the board, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do this in track view. Wow, that is super compact and dangerous. No wonder I missed it. It's such a small ride, super quick, but actually quite impressive. It's impressive how much, you know, you, you tangled into this little knot. I like it. I like it a lot. Wait a second. I don't think I saw this coaster either, or maybe I did. I just didn't get any close-ups of it. That's right. Okay, the Crocs, Mr. Crocus. We will uh, ride this one in seat view. There's the stats if you want to see it.
boom. Really nice stuff. And this guy here, Viper's Temple, our main, main attraction. Let's check it out. Good looking queue. Like all this detail. And here we are. Ride stats, there they are. I just realized I was using the wrong preset that I wanted to use. Oh, well, looks like he's setting the time of day for us. Okay, very impressive main attraction. Loving all the vistas and the views on it. So you like use the day-night sequencer, change the atmosphere up a bit. I was saying I was using the wrong preset. I actually had uh, Dusty selected instead of Starry. This is kind of what I wanted it to look like because we had that uh, sun setting over there. My bad, that's okay. Yeah, this is looking really cool. All right, let's uh, switch it to day and take a look at it from bird's eye view here talk about it so i didn't know what was going on with this back corner we kind of visited it here briefly that's like a quarter of your park right here in fact uh if we take last year's blueprint look at that <laughs> that was the size of the mini park last year that's a lot of uh wasted space back here in my opinion i feel like you could have actually fit another ride in there another roller coaster um done something different with that area uh it's the size of your uh, shooting ride there so you definitely could have utilized that a little bit more and i think that would have scored you a lot higher because this coaster here is really nice you did a phenomenal job with this having another one like that over there I'm trying to see one two three four so yeah you could have definitely fit an extra one in there and uh with the theming that you've done here the environment to work, the path work, it's all looking really, really nice. And um, I think this could potentially be a, a pretty high contender if we would have squeezed another main attraction in here. A log flume could have worked pretty nicely too with all the water vibes that you got going on over here. Had a few more mountains and waterfalls on this side. That could have worked. Because uh, art artistically speaking, there's a lot of really good details. So uh, I think that one extra ride really would have pushed you over the top to bring you to the five main attractions. So a bit of a missed opportunity there but everything else is looking really nice like the coasters the shooting ride uh theming wise was good i didn't really enjoy the shooting aspects of it that much uh spamming the targets it was a little chaotic uh but that's okay um fun little mini mini corkscrew there love it all right what did you guys think leave your comments down below for joshio and thank you guys so much for watching that is going to do it for me in today's episode and i will see you in the next contest submission bye now